Before we went to Aruba with our two toddlers, many people told us that they didn't really think it was going to be a kid-friendly Caribbean island, but I'm happily here to report that it was. We spent five days on the island with our toddlers who are age one and three, and I kind of want to share a couple of things that we did on the island. Now, before we get into all the fun that we had, let's talk about where we stayed. We stayed at the Aruba Boutique and Art Hotel, BW Signature Collection, and it was a fantastic spot for our family. This hotel is new and so beautiful, and we love that it's conveniently located to one of our favorite beaches, which I'll get into that in a minute. We got a room right next to the three pools that had two queens, so it was perfect size for my family. As I've mentioned, those three pools were so much fun. I especially loved the shallow one for my kids because they were able to just walk around and play. A major bonus of this hotel is that it did have a restaurant on site, which was really great because you know kids wake up so hungry in the morning, so we were able to walk down right to the restaurant and order breakfast. And the last thing that I want to point out about this hotel is that the parking was free. Aruba, I actually recommend getting a car. We booked ours online and picked it up at the airport and returned it back to the airport when we were done with it. But having a car was a lot easier to get around the island. There are taxis, but they are quite expensive. So by the time that we did all the math of all the trips that we were going to take back and forth, it actually made more sense for us to book a car. Some of the best things that we did obviously were exploring the beaches. Aruba is known for their beautiful beaches and they did not disappoint. Our very favorite beach in Aruba was Eagle Beach. It was only about a 10 minute drive from the hotel and this beach was stunning. The water was nice and warm, the sand was very soft, and they even had some seashells, which the kids loved finding in the sand. Another beach that my kids really liked was the Flamingo Beach on Renaissance Island. It's kind of tricky getting here because you have to score a limited um, day use pass and they only go on sale every Saturday at 9 a.m. local time for the upcoming week. Um, so you have to be right on your phone at 9 a.m. to grab those passes because if not, unfortunately, you won't be able to make it to this island. This island, they have two different beaches. One is an adults only beach. Kids can go there from 9 to 10 a.m., but we never made it to that side. And then the other side is the family friendly beach. Um, this beach was so cool because they had flamingos walking around all the time that we were there. We were there for probably six, seven hours and they had flamingos going around the entire time. Another fun thing that we did was finding this indoor playground. It's called Hunga Indoor Playground. And it was a perfect alternative for us because sometimes you just need to escape the sun in the mid afternoon. So we went there after an afternoon nap and the kids got to play and it was so much fun for them. Bring socks. They do have socks there to buy, but save yourself some money and bring your own socks. If you're dying to kind of walk around and explore town, I would go downtown Aruba because they have a free trolley that goes around and it shows you all the cool historical places. Um, the only suggestion that I would give is make sure you go early because it gets so hot in Aruba. So go first thing in the morning so you can explore uh, the town before it gets uh, to that hot afternoon where you just wanna be in the water. The last thing that I want to say that we did that was a lot of fun was going to the Phillips Animal Sanctuary. They only take cash, so remember that, but when you do check in, they give you these cups of food that have carrots in them, and so you're able to go around and any of the four-legged animals that you see, you're able to feed them. Um, my kids' favorites were the donkeys and the goats. I wanna answer two common questions that I've got about the language. Um, they do speak Papamiento there, which is a blend of Spanish, Portuguese, and Dutch, but we had no problem with English. Most of the people that we ran into spoke English as well. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is leaving from the Aruba airport. Um, that was the most intense lines that I've ever seen. Um, so when they say get there three hours or early, I would definitely recommend that. In addition, when you're standing in that very first line, they have people with signs that say like fast pass or skip the line. They charge $125 per adult. Kids are free. Um, I would almost just budget that into your into your budget for Aruba because those lines standing outside with kids were brutal. I ended up going and doing it myself. Um, Steve stayed in line because we only wanted to spend $125. So I took both of the kids um, and that was the best $125 that I spent to help them get us through all six different lines that you have to take in order to get to your gate. I hope these activities and these tips and tricks will help your upcoming Aruba flight. Definitely book those tickets with your kids because they will have a blast there too. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos of traveling with kids.